team has the green light to shoot the ball whenever they're ready? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, what he talked about uh, in practice and before games. Just shoot your shot and don't be afraid to uh, shoot when you're open. I mean, he yelled at Avery a lot today about shooting the ball. Just to keep shooting, you got the green light to shoot. Yeah, that's just a big emphasis. Uh, every time we practice, we, uh, we, sh we shoot a lot of shots. So when the game time comes, we're supposed to shoot the same shots we shoot in practice. Freddie, for you, just you know, two games in, essentially, how much more comfortable are you just with the offense and the pace and everything like that? Uh, you know, it's a different pace than what I played at my old school. So I'm still getting used to the pace. But, you know, we're, all, we're out there in practice, you know, just going hard, you know, just gelling off the court. So I think it's, it's coming together pretty, pretty easy and smooth. Caleb, for you, how much of an adjustment has this pace been, you know, playing at this tempo? I mean, it's a little bit of adjustment, but I've always, that's my game is just playing fast, getting up and down, pressing. So, I mean, conditionally, I get more conditioned, but it's been a smooth transition, really. How valuable are these two exhibition games for you guys now that it's about to get there? Uh, just gelling with the, uh, with the guys and learning everybody game some more in, like, a game flow setting. I mean... But I mean, the numbers show that we've been playing. We're playing well together, so we just got to carry it over to our first game. Yeah, it's just giving us some confidence going into, you know, our real season. So we're we're really excited to you know win these two games. But we also know we got a lot of work to do to get to where we want to get to. What are what are just some areas that you guys want to work on just before next Monday night when the season starts? Well, just cleaning up the defensive side of the ball, just to continue our offensive execution, but more on the defensive end. Yeah. For sure, just having clean switches and stuff like that. Statistically, tonight was almost identical to last Wednesday. Same point total, same number of possessions, same three point percentage. Was there anything you felt like you you did better? Uh, I, I thought we played slower. I didn't think we got the ball out faster on makes and just pushing the ball before. So I think we could have had more uh, possessions and quicker shots up at the rim. Yeah, I think our pace was a little bit behind. You know, we, we like to play at a fast pace. We, we still play probably at a fast pace, but we can play faster for sure. For both you guys, I mean, obviously two guys that are going to play a big role on this team are currently sitting on the bench with injuries. A lot of depth on this team. How do you think that that's going to kind of translate to the season and uh, as a, obviously a big benefit? Uh, like I said, this continue to jail. I mean, we play with, <clears throat> with uh, Q, so, um, I don't think it'll be a hard transition, just continuing to, them to get healthy and we're ready for them when they get ready. Yeah, just because all the guys we got, you know, play, play, you know, basketball, right? So I don't think it'll be a hard adjustment. But we'll definitely be excited when we get them back. Freddie, for you, I mean, what's it like, you know, wearing the Arkansas State uniform, a lot of family history with A-State. What's it like for you to kind of carry it on? Oh, it's definitely cool for sure, you know, just playing where my parents went to school and my siblings and, it's a blessing to be back, uh, be back close to home for sure. And you know, we're trying to do something special here, and I'm glad I could be a part of it. You know, one of you guys, just your thoughts on the non-conference schedule that y'all have coming up? With, you know, obviously starting off with Wisconsin, and then Iowa is not too far behind it, and Louisville, Alabama, and others. I like my team. I take my team over anybody. We're not scared of anybody, so we're just gonna go in there like it's another game, power five or not. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful on this one. We don't. It don't really matter who we play. We're just gonna be ready that night. How great does it feel for both of you to play in an exhibition game, but an exhibition game that had a meaningful benefit behind it? I like I said, it was meaningful. I mean, for the families in win that lost their home. So, I mean, I haven't went through anything like that. So, it was good to raise that money for them, and then just the fans that and the students that came out and supported. I mean, it was just an exhibition game. So. I hope the uh, fans continue to come back for the regular season and the uh, conference uh, games. Yeah, it was it, like Caleb said, I'm just going to piggyback off that. It was definitely a big deal, you know, just that we even got to help a little bit, you know, with all the uh, money made tonight going there to the win relief. And, you know, I've never been through anything like that either, but I'm just glad we had the chance to help. And I'm glad the you know, the people who came out and supported us, you know, like you said, just even though it was just an exhibition game, we still had a nice crowd. And I'm glad we were able to have a nice crowd like that.